thinking about public fleshlights, there is no better example than Alexandria Occasional Cortex. Are you for real? AOC melts down when asked why she isn't talking about kids in cages anymore. Gee, I wonder why that is. I wonder why, yeah. Uh, Could it have anything to do with the fact that there's a Democrat in the White House? Totally fairly elected. Yeah, Yeah. installed. Totally. Yeah, Time Magazine didn't write a whole piece basically admitting what we all already knew. Yep. (laughs) But they didn't didn't rig it. They fortified it. (laughs) Like vitamins and cereal or some shit. What a fucking bullshit. (laughs) Because it's not a border crisis, she continued. It's an imperialism crisis. It's a climate crisis. What the hell does the climate have to do with kids literally being toddlers being thrown like footballs over the wall? Does the climate help them get more airtime? Listen, I'm going to be honest. They need to shut the whole goddamn border down, empty those kids in cages, send them over to Mexico and say, you fucking unfuck this this worm pile. Oh, my gosh. And then she says, it's a trade crisis, and also it's a car- carcer- carceral crisis, incarceration prices, uh, crisis, I'm guessing. Because, as I've already said, even during this term and this president, our immigration system is based on our carceral system. Is that even a word? I don't even know. She went on to claim that the use of the term surge is white supreme pizza and an attempt to invoke a militaristic frame. Dude, I'm just so sick of these people. Dave Rubin says she is just awful. It's just over emotive theater with her. Just like it was the first time when she did her little photo op where she was crying and screaming allegedly at the people who were in charge of the kids with cages, but then the uncropped photo showed an empty parking lot. (laughs) (laughs) What a stupid cad. And this woman has the crazy eyes like none other. Yeah. That reminds me of like the couple Latina women I knew that chased me with gutter nails and bats and stuff well but you enjoyed it up until that happened it was good it was good yeah. it was good what's until the deal it's time with to run Mexican for your life tits. until it's time to run for your life that's not so good nearly 80 percent of women and girls crossing into the u.s by way of mexico are rapid or assaulted yeah that's been going on for years that's nothing new yep and the children too so and it's looking like we're going to be showing Two million migrants on the southern border in 2021. That is what we are on track for. Great. Even though most of these facilities now, like the ones just with the kids, are approaching 1,700% capacity. There are rooms designed only for a few dozen people that are housing hundreds. Like I said, shut the border down and send them all back. But it's not a crisis. Yeah. No. I mean that's that's the way you solve it right there. Like fuck it, we're done. You're go back. We're, we're, and, and if you can. yeah, and it's it's totally not a crisis, and and it won't be a crisis when you when all of a sudden these two million people in an overburdened economy uh-huh. get released into the country because hundreds of them have been released into the country despite testing positive for EAU. Correct. But, you know, we're supposed to be slowing the spread, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, well, this is what, day 100, day 380 of 15 days to flatten the curve? That's such a bullshit. Um, yeah, it's, it's weapons-grade bullshit. They don't care about you. No. Nope. They don't care about these people. They want a serf slave class for their corporate butt buddies to do all of this low-wage work and drive everyone else's wages down, while inflation, because 40% of our, current, or of our currency was printed in the last year— Yep. It's through the roof. Yeah. Like I said, when I talked about this on Tuesday, when gas is $10 a gallon, you can't afford food, you can't feed your family or heat your house, there's going to be a huge backlash, and everyone who is involved in making it happen is probably not going to like the outcome. And they flat out said that they've interviewed these migrants, the ones that speak English coming into the country. Well, would you have come here if Trump was in office? Oh no, I know you came here because it's you know because Biden's in office. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, he promised us things, free stuff. Yep, but shit ain't free, man. Nope. And the fact that I 
know people who think that all this is okay. Makes my head hurt. You know what? I'm not friends with those people anymore. I I, I really am not. I, I don't talk to them. I have nothing to say to them. I ignore them. Yep. Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern and bring the strong stuff.